Alright guys, what's up? Uh, Kieran here for Early Gaming again. Um, today we're going to be playing the shield, Rhaegar. Um, I'm going to go full shield build. Um, you know, a couple little couple little uh, trait variations, but it's going to be all about getting that lightning shield, uh, grabbing earth shield so it actually is a barrier of sorts, also doing some damage. Um, and at 20 I'm going to grab uh, storm shield on top of it probably um, and you know protect protect my people because that's what Rhaegar does and um, yeah I really like this champ we are gonna grab the uh, feral spirit at uh, 4 I believe uh, because it's very good for roaming Rhaegar really needs to roam around make sure he's helping the correct people at the right time and having a hundred percent health and mana regeneration especially is gonna help us out a lot because it's gonna be more mana more shields um, and uh, just a good time so we're not gonna grab the shield talent at 1 either um, because healing totem is way more helpful so I should say it's a shield focus. So we'll go healing totem. We'll go feral heart. Then we'll go uh, earth shield. Ancestral healing. Storm caller. Lightning bond. And then we're gonna see how it pans out. Your twenty talent is is generally um, circumstantial. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of talents, you know, can be, but uh, generally you have a build that you you, you want with your team. Uh, but 20 talents are most often the uh, ones that are circumstantial. Now, Aspidan's in the middle of it, so Lightning Shield is going to do the most work on him. I'm going to Chain Heal. If this gets heady, yeah, they're approaching, so I'm going to help them back out with this Earthbind Totem. Call a retreat there. And uh, Asmodan is a very strong pusher. I'd rather push with Nova, who has a harder time uh, taking out these uh, minions. Now, let's soak up the experience in this lane, and then we have to swing bottom right now. I don't even really have time for uh let's see what they can do here yeah so you know i find this a lot a lot of people underestimate how strong Rhaegar is early game so you see i went in there to drop earthbind totem and i got focus and they didn't have the team comp to take me out instantly so what ended up happening was that's uncontested so let's try and uh, drag them down there a bit they didn't have the team comp to take me out instantly so they throw their shots at me but I have my own healing you know I'm quite self-sufficient um, I'm not a little dinkus like uh, <laughs> I'm not a zero tool or something that just gets popped and dropped uh, and I'm able to get out of that quite easily and they pull themselves out of position into my teammates moves and um, that's great now we have no one in top lane that is an issue. I'm gonna grab this camp right with Asmodan. Choose a talent. I'm in our feral spirit. Okay, now I'm gonna rotate up to here. I smell fear. Now while this wave gets pushed in and dies, I'm gonna grab this. Then I'm gonna head back to oh, Asmodan's got mid, so I'm able to head to top now. I am a bigger target. Uh, I'll let him know I'm here. Looks like a hero has quit the fight. Understood. No. We don't want to overcommit when we don't have to. In fact, you never want to overcommit. You don't want to go in when you don't have to. You don't want to put yourself out of position slightly, even if you think you're going to attack on a few more percent. I'm going to chain heal here. I've got the mana she needs the health. 
Now we know that there's someone there. It's a Lili. Uh, I'm gonna hide in this corner. As I seize this. Come down here. Let's see if they follow. They do follow. You don't want to approach from there, Nova. I think that's a poor position to do it from. Our Asmodan's low on mana, so I recommend he goes out as well. I think... Uh, Let's think go. We can catch this Nova. down here because they're gonna see I have six coins and they're gonna be like yo I want a piece of that which is very understandable seems we've reached an accord let's show your enemies a jolly good time. you have to play more carefully the more coins you have and if you're gonna die you run as close as to your team as possible Rhaegar's nice because I do have this Ghost Wolf, right? So I can just mount up instantly. I can't get dismounted by being hit, so those are all nice things. Um, now I'm gonna make them regret that. They're gonna focus me. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's fine, fine. Really not. Wolf. And we're out. I'm not gonna run up there just in case. I don't know what's up there, so um, there's no point in risking it. Now, if Nova cool. wants to make a pick, I want her to be way out of position. She won't make a pick because if she took me out, she'd still need to grab my coins, so she wouldn't be able to do that unless she retreated uh, and then came back in. I'm gonna grab my ancestral healing. This, this ability is awesome. Now, the thing with Rhaegar and Ancestral Healing is you have to call in early. You have to say my opponent's gonna, or my ally is gonna die um, three seconds from now, or, or two, two and a half, or whatever it is, right? Because it, it doesn't happen instantly, and there are so many times where you hit Ancestral Healing thinking, oh, yes, my life means nothing. The totem's down. Keep my guys healthy. Drop my healing ward. It's in the middle there, but they don't seem to realize that. We're gonna win this fight. There. Boom. No problem. No problem. Okay. Now I'm out. I'm out of here. That Tyrion put up a really good fight considering no one helped him. Oh, that had to hurt. <sighs> Look, and now they're all low. Ooh, beautiful. Beautifully done. That was a clone, that's fine. We're missing a lot of lane soak. And there's a camp up here and we're safe, so I'm gonna... Huh? They're all paid up. I'm gonna push this XP lead. I'm gonna kill the minion before I go up just so they don't have vision on me. Uh, as I'm taking this camp. That's something that you always want to keep in mind if, if you take out the minion way first. Yeah, trying to get through anything. They all think they got me, but I'm a wolf, so... No dams given. Uh, I'm gonna come around here. 
Now, why did we let her get over to that? So there's ancestral healing again. I was like, you know what? I'm getting a little low. I'm not gonna risk it. I've got time. May as well pop it now. It doesn't matter what happens in uh, in a couple seconds because I'm gonna be at full health and I'm not gonna be playing it closer. Either. You know, you wanna you wanna push that coin advantage. Uh, we're doing a good job of defending our uh, turrets. Camping this. I'm gonna do it from this side. For some treasure, maybe. <clears throat> I'm gonna knock her out of stealth with my grab and go. Keep the straw. The other nice thing about ancestral healing. I don't think we should fight that. Is that it's got a low cooldown. 60 seconds? Like 60 seconds to heal one of your allies fully. That's the other reason you want to cast it early, is it's up in 60 seconds. So you know you you could call it close, but why? You know, if if they're below half, I think you're getting your value out of it. Um, Let's go. You cast it when they're below half. They're probably at about a quarter when it goes off. Like you're getting a lot of value out of that, and it's going to be up in a minute anyways. And you're going to spend, you know, a good 20 seconds cleaning up that team fight after you uh, totally work them. Okay, a Lily with a thousand cups is uh, not something we want to fight. I should have casted that on Tyrio. Again, no, not worried. Cast this on myself. Gotta get out. My bit. Drop the heal. Uh, drop the slowing totem. Come on, guys. Come on. Can do this. Go in on him. We're really going in on a we'll get that Tuterio again. And Ghost Wolf, we're gonna catch him. Boom. And we just take him out with the lightning shield. Like I just need a, you know, if you got a slice of pizza for a health bar, pop Ghost Wolf, and I'm running in, I got my lightning shield on, those orbs are doing damage when they touch you and you're out. Okay, you wanna go in? Go in, my man, go in, by all means. Mosh pit. A nice stun, but uh, whatever. Just gave up some coins. You need fun or training. Okay, how many coins does Asmodan have? Okay, so I'm actually gonna stay in this. And I'm gonna lightning shield a minion. Drop the totem. Right away. We got a nice minion wave pushing. Pop her out of stealth with that, lock her down with the totem. It almost looked like I just dropped that right through her body and killed her. Uh that was kinda cool. Yeah, they're having a tough time now. Understood. Okay. Fine, fine. It's all gravy, baby. We're gonna make it out of this. And I think we've saved Nova. So that's really nice. Oh, we tried. We did our absolute best to save her there. Doing 
did some work with Tyrio. We don't have our totem up though. And I don't have the mana. Alright, alright, last second we get it off. Last second we get off that heal and that shield. And we're able to save our teammates. Now, I'm gonna shield myself, I'm gonna heal myself. I have to leave. I do. Because, uh. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna grab that well. I could go to full health, but, uh, I'm ready to scrap. For sure. Be available shortly. He's got Eldruin. He actually dodges an alt with that. And just in, I, I dropped that there just in case there's a counter push. I'm not really expecting one, but if, if something happened and we needed to leave. I just wanted to make sure we had that option. It's already going to be up right now. Now I'm going to drop my healing totem right there. Okay, I get stuck with the mosh pit. He's landing the mosh pits. We just don't care. That's the problem. So I'm gonna pop ancestral healing point right now because this is the this is the team fight to win it. I don't know why I W'd myself there. Uh, I have a trait where when I W an ally, it also uh, affects me. I'm very low on health, but uh, that's fine. Okay, I gotta retreat. Choose a talent. I'm gonna grab Storm Shield. I'm gonna grab Storm Shield. We're going the full shield build. We are shield. Hey, and it doesn't matter, because we win. Alright. Uh, yeah, that was a really good game. That was a really good game. My team played well. Um, that Tyrio, very Tyrio has a very strong initiate, and and Tyrio Rhaegar is a is a great combo because the amount of support I'm able to give him on his existing sustain and ability to chase, and he comes with his own escape, um, it's huge. Like it's just huge. You know, we didn't go down that game. We didn't go down because we we were the shield. We kept everyone protected and. Um, we had, let's see, eight, eight deaths on our whole team. So that's really nice. Like, um, I, I feel, uh, I feel good about that, and and um, I think we definitely did work. We we did what we were supposed to, and and um, it's a fun build. It's a really fun build because you're helping your your allies, but at the same time, you get to the point where once you throw that lightning shield onto an ally, you're actually lightning shielding yourself. And, and you're making yourself stronger and you know it feels good as a support that's how you want to be as a support you want to be benefiting the team but still keeping yourself healthy so um, yeah we were hovering on oom a lot of the time we were almost out of mana and uh, we were still able to throw in the necessary moves to, to keep people alive and uh, the team had good coordination as well so it was good um, it's good 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 so that's the shield build um, I really enjoy it. I, I think I've had the most success with that build, uh, with Rhaegar so far, but I haven't been playing him that long, and, um, you know, it is quick match, so, um, all that considered, strong build, uh, good game, good team, and, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have as much fun as I did playing him. Uh, so that's it for early gaming. Uh, for this episode, and I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.